Hey friends, so I finished my yellow pepper painting. Uh, you can see that video. It probably will post about a week, maybe two weeks before I'm going to paint a lemon to go with my pepper. I'm going to use the same palette. So uh, Prism Violet, Turner's Yellow. I had some Naples yellow on here. I've used some Naples yellow in here. I don't think actually maybe I didn't use it on the background. This, this is my background color palette. Um, unbleached titanium. And then I just mixed kind of a warmer mud color, mid, mid value, and then kind of a grayer mid value color. Uh, this is some Mars black and then titanium white down there. So that's the same colors that are in this background. You can also check out this video if you like. And I'm going to paint that on this canvas, but instead of having a, a tabletop like I did for the pepper, well, I guess there'll be a big tabletop and then like a wall up here. So I'm going to flip it and have, you could call that your horizon line, but it isn't. It's really a portrait of a lemon painting. <laughs> it's three inches from the top. Whereas on the pepper, it's three inches from the bottom. So I'm going to get started painting and then we'll get our lemon sketch down here. guys I just wanted to pop in with a couple comments so as I'm looking at my cell phone here I may want it a little bit lighter I'm kind of losing when I look at it in person I can see more contrast but one way to kind of see if your painting is working is to step back from it to take a photo of it with your phone or your camera or in my case I can look in the video and then I can see that it needs a little more contrast right here um, I darkened this area because this is the way this is the way I'm gonna put the lemons on it this so I have you know this line here and then this line here and I'm painting them as a set so I'm using the same colors I showed you in my palette earlier but I think it's time to get the lemons on here before I start adding even more color brush strokes and see how it looks so I just want to tell you that I'm thinking dark down here um, I may do it a little darker actually after when I see it next to here. Um, we'll just have to see. But I just wanted to pop in with a couple of comments, um, let you know I'm thinking of these and hoping to sell them as a set. But if I don't, that's okay too. All right, I'm gonna probably let this dry, have a little dinner and then come back and sketch the lemons on. All right, let's get the lemons drawn on here. Um, oh, I'll set up a traceable. So you, if you don't feel comfortable drawing, you can use a traceable. I'll also set up a traceable for the pepper, the yellow pepper. Alrighty, so I've just divided my canvas in half. This is a 12 by 12 inch canvas. And this is chalk. I just drew on there with chalk. I've got a handy little T-square for measuring and drawing because you can just these canvases sometimes aren't completely square, especially the corners. You can, sometimes the corners have like little, I don't know, little curve to them. But you can get it definitely square enough. And then I have a, a photo reference that I don't have the license to, so I can't show it to you on camera. But I divided it in half, so it has four squares. And then there's a piece of a lemon. So how I do is I just draw what I see in each square. 
um, but you don't have to draw one square at a time. So I'm going to start with a lemon that's in front, and then it comes down, oh, maybe there? So here's where I get, I'm kind of going to figure out about how much. So on the peppers, I had I came in about three fingers. So maybe we'll try and do that again. Okay. And I may, um, it's so hard for me to draw and talk. It's like about halfway. I may um, turn off the video because I don't know. Oh, you can't really see what I'm drawing anyway. You can uh, look at the pepper video and you can see me draw it. I drew it in orange. Oh, and now I've got somebody pounding outside. I think I'm going to draw this on and I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, I've got the lemon sketched on. And Freckles is here in my lap if you see some earlier, if you see some ears pop up. <laughs> so one of the things I'm thinking is I need a, almost a bigger T square, but where it doesn't quite work, but so that they um, kind of line up and sit on the same, oh, pretty close to the same level. And then one thing I haven't talked about before in my videos is this lemon is looking out of the painting. It's looking that way. But one thing that'll really help this is I'll put in a darkish greenish shadow right in here. So that'll pull you back in this way. And then I made this little, this lemon a little bit bigger just so that it, I mean, this lines up here, so it's not going to line up with the lemon, but just so it fills the space a little bit better. Um, and I'm also going to come back in here. Oop, I don't want that to fall off. I'm also going to come back in here with, um, well, I'm probably going to take a little paintbrush and sketch a little bit. Because this the lemon's pretty simple how I drew it. Okay, I just wanted to pop in with a couple of thoughts there. <laughs> with a couple more comments and then I think the rest of the video will be time-lapse until we get to the end and I do that so the videos aren't so long um, you can even with the time-lapse you can slow it down there's a little gear icon um, when you hover your mouse over the video on YouTube and then you can choose the speed that you want to see the video at you can always pause it take screenshots um, some people like you know the actual time videos and some people want them shorter than I do them so I'm just trying to and also if they're not quite so long we can get them uploaded a little bit quicker okay that was a little bit of a sidetrack a little side note there I wanted to show you what I'm thinking so I don't normally do this but I've got a little oh it's a little worn out knife brush I don't know if you can even see if I get it over the white maybe can you see it's just teeny teeny um, and I'm actually kind of outlining but you can see that the outline changes shade um, so I'm not completely outlining like I'm using just one color but I also don't want to lose the I don't know what you call the white part of the lemon because this would be the rind and that's definitely the fruit sections I don't like the little membranes in between so then I, I just kind of wanted to see how this was going to look too so I just sketched in a little bit of color with paint and I'm using the same palette that I used on the um, pepper that I'm pointing to right there I've got it up there I might need to start a new palette because this one's pretty messy so hookers green which I don't know if I'll use much of but I'll probably use this color which is some hookers green and some black and there might even be something else in there 
I just made a dark muted color. Uh, prism violet, black, uh, unbleached titanium, titanium white, uh, Turner's yellow. If you don't have Turner's yellow, you can just put just a smidge of purple, any purple that you have in there just to mute it down. Um, this is yellow orange, and then I mix some Turner's yellow, and then there's a little purple in there. Oh, and this is um, Naples yellow, but I don't know if I'll use much of that. So it's the same palette as I used for the pepper. I don't think I mentioned that. I think I started the time lapse. Okay, guys, uh, post any questions you have in the comments while I'm thinking of mentioning that, and let's keep going. guys I thought I'd pop in and talk a little bit about what I'm thinking so I've lightened the background up because I'm just not happy with it but sometimes it just takes a couple of days where I'm not so close to the painting and then I'll come back and I'll really like it so I'll show you the pepper um, I'm really liking this one now oh here that's kind of a weird angle I'm really liking it and then I'm wondering if I pick up the lemon here, I'm gonna look at it through my phone camera. Oh yeah, I think that's getting way better. And another thing that I had put some, um, well, there's kind of the dried color right there. 
So I mixed a little bit of purple with some of this uh, yellow orange, which is this color right here and here, and some of this color here. Um, and I was trying to get some contrast and I was showing too much of the section lines. Um, so when I'd walk into my studio and I'd see this painting, I mean, it looked good. You can back up the video a little bit. It looked good, but it also looked drier and a little bit just too contrasty. If, it, if it's a more moist lemon, it's not gonna have quite that contrast. <laughs> so then I, I painted over it with more yellows um, and that's helping. And then I added some white up here because my, my lemon was kind of concave, also looking dry. And so I'm pulling everything forward. So that's helping. And now I'm gonna take, so I've got just a crappy old little knife brush that's fuzzy. I don't know if you can even see it. It's just little fuzzy old. I'm gonna take some straight up titanium white. And I've thrown away my reference photo at this point. And I'm just gonna add sort of little shiny highlights. And I think I'm gonna do it pretty much everywhere. So my reference photo, it had some highlights just here because the light's coming from this direction, but it was just looking too concave. So here's where, depending on what you like, how you like your paintings, um, you kind of throw that away and then you defy uh, nature and make light where you want it to be. So I think if we do a little bit and then the trick is to try and be random. It's one thing nice, at least this brush um, makes some fuzzy strokes, so that helps. Oh, I think that's working pretty good. I still might want to lighten that up a little bit. Favorite daughter's coming over for dinner tonight. I'll have her look at it with some fresh eyes. So it's great to get advice from people. Um, there are some Facebook groups that I'm in, you know, acrylic painters for beginners. I don't know if that's the title, but it's something like that. Um, and it can be really helpful, but the downside is, you know, if you have 15 different people's opinions, then you're even more in your head. <laughs> you know, it gets hard to know what to do. So times, maybe just have one or two people that, you know, that you trust. And sometimes not family member, although I'm gonna have a favorite daughter um, help me with this one, see what she thinks. Um, sometimes not a family member too, because they don't wanna hurt your feelings. And they're gonna, I mean, they're biased. They're gonna love your work, which is awesome, they should. Sometimes they can't figure out, like I didn't, and then maybe you like the concave orange and those little dried up. I mean, it just depends on what look you want. I probably should stop here. So I'm just kind of scribbling because I'm going to get too many, too many shiny areas there. I'm just kind of scribbling and lightening it up. I think we'll call this done for the video. I may tweak it just a little bit in the next couple of days as I look at it. Um, I usually give it a few days before I, I photograph it, give it a few more days before uh, I, I'll put a gel gloss isolation layer on there. So if I've got any thin layers of paint, it, they like to stick together. They'll just sort of bind together and then let that dry for, it depends on the weather and the time of year. This time of year, I let it dry a couple days and then I'll I usually put a satin varnish on it and then oh four days maybe after that I'll wire it in the summer when it's really humid we can be talking weeks for the paint to totally cure um, let me know what you think I'll set up a traceable for this one I'll set up a traceable for the peppers um, let me know what questions you have I really appreciate you spending your time with me great big here I'm trying to get my other hand in here Great big art hugs, and I hope to chat with you soon. Bye, guys.